Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller Key Insights Stories are all around us. They're featured in movies, podcasts, comic books, web series. The list goes on and on. And chances are, stories have helped to shape you into the person you are today. So how can you take the power of a story and use it to brand your product? Never assume people understand how your brand can change their lives. Tell them. Donald Miller. In Donald Miller's Building a Story Brand, you will learn how to harness the power of the story and create a unique story brand for your product. Your newly developed story brand will help you create an irresistible brand and get a leg up on the competition by connecting on a deeper level with your customers. Key Points A Clear Marketing Message A fancy new website won't make sales increase all on its own. You need a straightforward and clear marketing message to accompany it. Pretty websites don't sell things. Words sell things. Donald Miller There cannot be any confusion or the customer will deem the product or brand too complicated. It should be very easy to understand for everyone. The marketing message should tell the consumer three things. One, who you are. Two, what you do. And three, why the customer should choose you over your competitors. If a customer is confused by your message, they will not stick around to try to figure it out. They will go to another competitor that has a simpler message. To help you develop your message, you should always think of the customer first. How does your service help them? To make it easier on yourself, think of psychologist Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which includes food and drink, safety and shelter, companionship, and greater needs such as spirituality and self-love. Use this hierarchy to target how your product helps the consumer. Story Brand 7-Part Framework A good story holds your attention. It can make an hour or two fly by without you even noticing it. The difference between a story versus video clips or social media posts is that it is organized information in a specific structure. There's a beginning, middle, and end. This makes it more memorable and easier for people to retell. In every line of copy we write, we're either serving the customer's story or descending into confusion. We're either making music or making noise. Donald Miller A story is like a song. It is easier to remember a song than simple noises such as doors slamming and cars honking. A song can get stuck in your head just like a story. To create a catchy story, use the seven-part story brand framework, which includes seven aspects of a story. Character, problem, guide, plan, calls to action, failure, and success. Before we break it down more, the rough outline of this module is that the character wants something that is hard to attain. When they're about to give up on what they want, a guide appears. This guide instructs the character what to do. This will allow the character to succeed rather than fail. With this story brand module, you will develop your story brand script, which will help you to engage your customers. Your customers are the heroes in your story brand script. All memorable stories have a hero in them. Think stories such as Robin Hood, Star Wars, and The Lord of the Rings. Think of your customer as this hero or the main character, and think of this character in terms of the customer is always right. The story should be based on the character's wants and needs. When your story bases around the customer's needs and wants, it will make your brand recognizable when the person wants this in real life. For example, If you own a candy company that creates salty, sweet treats, and you base your story around that incentive, customers will go to you when they're craving something salty and sweet. Oftentimes, websites for hotels and resorts or businesses will feature their story on the site. And that's not a bad thing. But it is important to also tell how the company can help the customer. Without adding this, the story is pointless and undesirable to the customer who you are actively trying to attract. Furthermore, though you want to tell about the services you offer, just listing them off on the site's story page will not entice the customer. The message needs to be clear but well-crafted about what the company has to offer to its customers. Oftentimes, 
Simpler is better. Focus on the internal problem. The second frame of the module focuses on solving the customer's problem. For example, their problem could be their need for a towel that stays soft even after multiple washes. Or it could be to find a hot sauce with solid flavor in medium heat. It could even be to find a dog groomer that travels to your home rather than having to take your dog to the business. Customers like to feel understood. So by stating their problem, they will feel as if you understand their struggle and what you're looking for. This creates trust between the customer and the business. Stories with heroes also have villains. But the villain in this case is not another character. The villain is the problem they need to solve. These villains don't necessarily need to be external, such as a broken heel on your favorite shoe. They can be internal, such as not having enough time for self-care. Even if your problem is external, such as needing a boost in the morning, it's smart to market it as internal as well. For example, you can solve the internal problem of not feeling your best when you wake up in the morning. Your product, caffeinated coffee, would be the solution as it would help the customer wake up quickly and go about their day. In general, external products sell better paired with an internal problem being solved. Be empathetic and authoritative. Oftentimes in stories, the hero gets into trouble. And that's because all of our heroes are also humans. But when they are in trouble, a guide comes to help them out. And that brings us to the next module. This is the part of the module where you and your product are solving the character's problem by sending them on the right path. To be a successful guide, you must do two things. Be empathetic and be authoritative. Being empathetic will help you to reel in the customer. They will appreciate being understood and their trust will be gained through your empathy for their problem. People trust those who understand them and they trust brands that understand them too. Donald Miller Authority is no less important. By being authoritative, they will trust that you know what you're talking about and will trust your advice on the problem. A good way to show authority is with stats. A lot of websites will display stats on their website showing how many satisfied customers they have or how many people use their service. They may even display awards or certifications. Tell them the plan. Making a purchase is risky for a customer, so it's best to lay out a plan to them before they take the leap. There are two ways to go about this. Either you can tell your customers exactly what to do and what to expect, or you can make the purchase totally risk-free, such as a free trial or a money-back guarantee. The first method is called the process plan. It goes into detail about the product, how to use it, and what to expect. This will eliminate false hopes and confusion. The second method is called an agreement plan. This agreement is meant to totally eliminate the risk of buying an item. Calls to action. Now you must make your hero take action. The average person sees over 3,000 advertisements a day via billboards, TV, radio, and on social media. So, getting someone's attention can be challenging. That is why it's important to have a great story brand to stand out from the crowd. Customers do not take action unless they are challenged to take action. Donald Miller A direct call to action loudly and straightforwardly pushes the customer to make a purchase. An example of this are the quick click buttons on websites that say sign up for the newsletter, purchase, or register. Then there is a transitional call to action. This method creates a relationship with the customer so that even if they don't make the purchase this time, they will think of you in the future when you have a product that can solve their problem. A transitional call to action is often done by offering something free such as a free gift card, coupon, or a webinar. Remind them what they will lose. It is important to remind people that they could fail if they don't solve their problems. This is what makes movies and books so riveting. There is always a fear of it not working out for the main character, so you have to keep watching until the very end. Simply put, we must show people the cost of not doing business with us. Donald Miller Humans are more interested in avoiding a loss of something than the thought of gaining something. That's why you should let them know the disadvantages of not buying your product. A good example of this is if you sell insurance. 
Since insurance is meant to protect the customer's things, such as their house or their car, showing them the loss of these things will push them to purchase your product. Show them the success. After you have shown your customers what they could lose, it's time to show them what they can gain with purchasing your product. Nike is a great example of showing them success. Their whole brand is not based just on quality sneakers. It's a lifestyle devoted to emanating glory, drive, and wins. There are three strategies to showing your customer success. Number one, status. When businesses offer membership perks or rewards for being a loyal customer, their consumers will feel successful while embracing the perks. Number two, completeness. Your product should hold a promise of fulfillment for your customers. And number three, self-acceptance and potential. Your product should help the customer feel included and accepted. For example, stores that no longer airbrush their models help people to feel as if the clothes the store sells are made for them. The main takeaway. Use the seven-part framework to build a story brand to help create a clear message to your consumers. This module includes the narrative storytelling components of character, problem, guide, plan, calls to action, failure, and success. Hi, I'm Rhonda, and this is an exclusive audiobook video recorded for the Audiobook Master Channel. Enjoy your audiobook and have fun learning. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll get updated on our next upload. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and say your thoughts about the book we just covered. Do you want to listen to a summary or review of a book that we haven't covered in the past? Say it in the comments below or send us a message. Don't forget to check our other uploads. Enjoy listening!